there's a nostalgia. Number I dial up mode. Get playing sent. Among Us. It's 9:24 p.m. Internet access has come a long It's 9:24 p.m. and it's 21 percent. Wireless internet My battery is 21 percent. Provide fast and easily accessible internet for billions. But back in the day, the internet could only be accessed through phone lines. Dial-up modems took up an entire phone line at home. While a few remote or rural areas are still using dial-up modems today, the rest of us will never have to hear that Whoop. awful dial-up screeching it's again. It's starting. Except in our nightmares and in nostalgic internet videos like this one. <laughs> Number 19, Butterfinger Babies. There are plenty of discontinued candy products from the 90s. One of the most beloved are Butterfinger oh, BBs. Teased by size balls of Butterfingers were easy to pop in your mouth, but you still maintained the full size candy bars and the texture and the buttery flavor. Plus, they were advertised by Bart Simpson. And we win this Unfortunately, despite the campaign slogan warning that nobody better lay a finger on our Butterfinger, the BBs were discontinued in 2006. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Although no official explanation has been released, some have theorized that the BB's chocolate coating, which melted easily, may have been responsible. While a similar, smaller Butterfinger version was released called Butterfinger Bites, they never attained hey, popularity. Hey, what's that move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Number trying 18, to make my fun of bag. You're a learner, questioning the world before you. A new Encarta World Atlas from Microsoft. During the 90s, the internet was not the trusted source of information it is. Well, can be today. Online encyclopedias were still it's in their right infancy. Down this Before the rise of Wikipedia, there was another computer based encyclopedia called Encarta, launched in 1993 and originally packaged in DVD form. This annually updated program contained thousands of informative articles on a wide variety of topics. Not only did Encarta include text, there were also videos, pictures, and even trivia games. Fighting enhancements feature guest essays. I'm However, naturally, the rise of online encyclopedias ultimately led to Encarta's downfall, now. and Microsoft ceased See. its publishing in 2009. Number now. 17, mini disc players. During the 90s, audio formats were still very much a competition. One often forgotten contender is the mini disc. Okay. Published by Sony, these miniature discs were envisioned as the That's next big thing to replace now. cassette tapes. If I know, I'm to call Mary. Now it's However, be done despite again. proving popular in Sony's ah. native Japan, MD players oh. couldn't find success at a global scale. Record labels didn't take to the format quickly, Whoop. leaving few albums available initially. Plus, blank MDs were twice as expensive as blank CDs. By the time MP3 players became available, mini discs were on their way out. Although niche markets kept them in circulation until 2013. It's as portable as you are. Sony Mini Disc, the future of tape. Number 16, Zima. The 90s saw a trend of clear drinks, and alcoholic beverages were no exception. Coors got in on the trend and created Zima in 1994, a clear malt beverage intended as an alternative Which to beer. What if there wasn't any beer? Done. Sorry, guys. While the beer found yeah. more success among young women, Coors did their best to market it towards a male consumer base. In the end, most didn't especially enjoy the taste, and the product began disappearing from shelves. At least in the West. Coors discontinued Zima in North America in 2008, but the beverage remained popular in Japan until 2021. I don't get it. Number 15, Hogs. What's on TV at the moment? During the Let early me? 90s, the biggest yeah. one was easily milk caps or pods. The pods! Yeah. They're milk caps! They're pods! It's okay. a game. You stack them, and then you add them. Okay. Players would stack Close cardboard discs with pictures printed on them. Anything from cartoons to sports logos. Then, another larger disc, Hi. the Slammer, was... Yeah! Because each player would often keep the pogs one this way, it was viewed by many schools as a form of gambling, leading to widespread bans. Uh. <gasps> 
<gasps> when kids oh, can't no. play something at school, it tends to kill the popularity uh, uh, While they're technically uh, still around, and there are uh, variants on the game worldwide, Dead popularity money. is far mm. from what it used to be. Number 14, CRT computer monitors. Before and during the 90s, most screens were created using CRT, or cathode ray tube technology. Naturally, computer Brown? screens were no exception. These Blue. big, bulky monitors sat on our desks and are how many Gray. of us first experienced computing. But the last few decades have seen the rise of LCD, OLED, and plasma monitors, which are cheaper and generally have larger screens than CRT monitors. Some people, particularly computer gamers, still prefer CRTs because they don't have as much input Folk. lag and can display images in multiple resolutions more easily. In general, though, these guys have been mostly phased out. Mm. Number 13, gaming magazines. Video games were I'm still considered a one. niche industry in the 90s, so they weren't mainstream enough to be covered extensively on TV or the still Whoop. newfangled internet. It was all about running out to Me the mailbox the to find up. that new issue or that new game two magazine. Days, that means. Enter gaming magazines. No, if you rejection. were a 90s gamer, chances are you were subscribed to one or more mm. gaming magazines. Electronic Gaming Monthly, Nintendo Power, Computer Gaming World, oh, Tips and Tricks, OMG, these publications the gave gamers detailed articles on upcoming games, walkthroughs, cheat codes, and I reviews. Plus, they had a surprising mm -hmm. level of reader interaction from major publications. Just Tragically, most gaming life. magazines That's ceased publication okay. as the rise of internet mm -hmm. journalism made the old monthly issue model obsolete. Good. Why Done. wait to read about it no, in a magazine when it's already online? Number 12. Floppy disks. To go Multiple outside. computer storage in the 90s if used to take the form of small three and a half inch floppy disks. Although the name complete. is a bit misleading for those disks, which, unlike the disks of the 80s, weren't floppy at all. When you needed to save oh, or move no. information between oh, computers, oh, 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 floppy disks were everyone's go to. <laughs> you just popped them into the fabled A drive and off you went. They were so widely used that the save icon in most programs is still the floppy disk to this day. But as Man, technology progressed and storage capacity and yes. needs expanded beyond a few hundred kilobytes, floppy disks are no longer in wide circulation. But if you're missing them, they're still sometimes used for emergency booting in older systems and in other industries like aeronautics. Number 11. Appointment TV. Once upon a time, we scheduled our lives around what was on TV. This was because if you didn't see a show or a sporting event when it aired, you didn't see it at all. Each time an episode aired, everyone was talking about it the next day. And sure, sometimes you could tape a show and watch it later, but sometimes working VCRs was more art than science. Appointment television was the norm. And so, and, networks uh, did big ratings when a show hit it big. Or your favorite, and all new monthly show! Of course, and streaming platforms now make it easy to binge monsters. shows or watch them at your own pace. While some streaming series do release episodes weekly, and the concept is making something of a comeback, Appointment TV isn't mainstream again quite yet. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Oh, no. Number 10, Crisis. Y2K Panic. Doug, everyone panic, here is panic, waiting panic, for the panic, same panic, thing, panic. the stroke of midnight. Okay. We all know that the human race and planet Earth are not going to be around forever. But with the new millennium on the horizon, many believed the year 2000 was going to initiate the collapse of society. Now, the federal hey, government now. is comparing Y2K to a huge natural disaster, like an earthquake, a hurricane, or a tornado. Disrupts people's lives for days, weeks, or maybe even months. In the 90s, several computer experts warned that because so many computer systems represented white. years using only the last two and digits, computers would mix up 1900 and, and 2000. This led some folks to buy up food and supplies to tide them through an imminent apocalypse. But as it turned out, the world stepped into the new millennium with minimal issues. It hit midnight and I'm nothing happened. No it was one. like crickets in the newsroom. While we have dealt with a few other end of the world fears afterwards like 2012, none quite reached the same level of paranoia. The other world is coming. Now come on, get your radiation suits. Me, hey, we are not missing a once in a lifetime event because of some wacko doomsday theory. Okay, okay. Number nine. No one gets Windows ejected. 95, three no rejection this time. Screen savers aren't all that common anymore now that most oh, no. have a this function to is a nightmare. In the 90s, however, there was one screen saver we could see in many We models. could die. Windows 95 3D maze. Here, if we don't fix the reactor video, meltdown sabotage, this is an internal crisis. Setting and generating oh, a whole new no. There's something I really mesmerizing to, about uh, it between the artificial intelligence and guessing where the face might end up. 
Honestly, why hasn't Microsoft made a full-fledged game out of this? Number eight, the Delia's catalog. If you weren't sure what to wear for the girls' night or the high school dance, you probably referred to this mail-in catalog of fashion. Founded in 1993, Delia's was the go-to catalog for teens who wanted to wear their clothes. Unfortunately, Delia's would be buried by competitors, in addition to being spun off and acquired on a few occasions as time went on. By the end of 2014, Delia's filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and liquidated all of its stores. I declare well, bankruptcy! While it tried to bounce back as an well, online only I store think I'll go for the Axie Puff. This venture was a complete failure. Now, you can only get their clothing through the Dolls Kill brand. Number seven. Orbits. Yes, it's the magical beanie beverage that is featured on many a Watch Mojo list in recent years. Is it a bug? Did someone mistake your beer for an empty and put their cigarette butt in there? With Orbits, there was no mistake. This obscure, non-carbonated drink was manufactured with a small variety of flavors to quench your thirst and hunger. From raspberry citrus to vanilla orange, the beads and beverage made for a unique type of drink. Alas, Orbitz would live a seriously short life because of its terrible commercial performance. Given the presence of gel and gum and high yeah, sugar, I can hazard a guess at why folks weren't picking these Do up your on tasks. Shelf, especially when Who seeing made? the edible orbs inside. Flat card. Number six, the iMac G3. You gotta see this thing in person, no. but I'll do the best I can with video. Apple's Mac computers have come a the long way. Time. Today, design is all about improving battery life, making everything as thin as possible, and getting oh, great no. about updating oxygen if we don't use depletion. it. In the late this 90s, could... a common Mac computer looked about as chunky as a CRT yeah, television set. Catastrophe. Lethal catastrophe. Quieter. Redesigned. Someone killed black. The teal-colored Macs with their translucent Bondi blue shells were especially a huge success for Apple. But looking back, these desktop computers were also incredibly hefty and awkwardly shaped. That's because it wasn't just a monitor. This was the computer itself. Heated leather seats sold separately. Fight someone. Just seeing pictures of these makes us glad schools are using laptops instead. Number five. PB crisps. Yeah, we gotta squeeze another food product in here, and this is another snack that's popped up on our lists before. PB crisps was a special kind of sweet treat for planters, consisting of peanut-shaped cookies filled with peanut butter inside. Inside is such a so sweet, peanut butter cream. Oh, and if you wanted an addition to peanut butter, you could buy bags of the cookies that were also filled with chocolate or strawberry. Yes. Sadly, these snacks were not around for long due to low demand and have become a relic of the mid-90s. Crystal Sun. To this day, oh there my is God, still a group the skip of dedicated fans mode clamoring mode for the product's return, got even going as far as to make a website it's dedicated to the cause. Number four, Ejection. AIM, also known as AOL Instant Messenger. Mm. Fire up that machine and off you go. Oh, you you got mail. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since we heard anything remotely relevant oh, to AOL. Yeah. While AOL currently exists and was acquired oh, by Verizon great. in 2015, oh, no. oh, no. AIM oh, no. ceased operations I in December 2007. I do not have time to end it. Yeah, yeah, I need to go to the actor. Goodbye. To reset. <laughs> Too. This service was Stop introduced way back in 1997 and became this will the be leading messaging service in America for roughly a decade. Wherever I go, this I stay could be with everyone in my life. It's really easy to stay in touch. But as tech giants like Google and Facebook started taking over, AIM lost all purpose. You have remained confused. Empty. What am I evolving into? What is my purpose? I must know! Tell me! The two companies had better services and better security. Slowly but surely, AIM would begin shutting down features one by one, starting in 2007, before disappearing completely a decade later. Having failed to keep up with ever-evolving technology, we're forced to say TTFN to the iconic service and a simpler time. We can only hope will BRB. <laughs> Number three, Netscape Navigator. She was 18 years old. She doesn't even know what Netscape is. These days, we have Fight dozens someone. of web browsers vying for our Fight attention. Someone. From Google Chrome to Mozilla Firefox to Safari to DuckDuckGo. We remember way back when the internet was a baby that there was only one browser to use, Netscape Navigator. This browser was created in 1994 and for a short time went uncontested in the industry. Well, what about all those other low-cost guys like... Don't you want an ISP that's faster, safer, reliable, and more secure? 
What happened to cause such decline? Well, Internet Explorer. Green, Men, bananas, Murray, all of them. Netscape would receive its final update in 2007 <laughs> before ceasing support and development <laughs> the year after. Everything has to change fast. <laughs> obviously. Yeah, and just like, bye bye. Died. I don't want to use the word die, they wouldn't like that word, but it basically was born and overtaken within the uh, four years. Ten. That's pretty fast. Number two, ah, the Discman. Like Walkman's you got the my age, Discman's became a crucial bye part Bye bye. It just wasn't anything you like idiot. going on a walk or exercising while jamming out to the newest albums. Besides oh. radios, this was pretty much oh, the way to listen to I music. Of course, do. as we find new ways to store so data, we also wow. kill off part of a media. Nowadays, we can just open Spotify on our phones and jam to anything we desire without having to eject a CD and holster something chunky on our way. Still, there is something tactile to be missed here. I can really tell you, it's not only what you play, it's what you play it on. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell Hope to get someone. notified about our latest videos. You have the option Hope to be someone. notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, video rental stores. Oh! <laughs> Green. Those who grew up in the 80s, 90s, or 2000s fondly look back on video rental stores. While the very first such stores opened in the late 70s, it was in the 90s green. that bigger brands like green. Hollywood Video and Blockbuster boomed in demand. For some families, weekly trips to these stores would become a tradition, as new movies made their way to the shelves and movie buffs sought out hidden gems. Wow! Wow! So sad. You got favorites. So this industry bye -bye. Fine, however, as Netflix and streaming services became more and more prominent. Hollywood imposter. Video would go defunct Ever. in 2010, while Blockbuster Soon enjoys a few last. thousand customers through One, its last and only two, store, located done. in Bend, Oregon. <gasps> oh no! It's kind of the reactor meltdown's back. This we're in devastating trouble. This is it, and it takes a while okay. to get through all of the movies. Did you enjoy this video? Yeah, Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo. Security. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be What's notified about our latest videos. What's going on? 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 Ooh, what's going on? Whoop. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I saw some vent in my bay. And whoop! The body has been reported. Someone killed. Well, okay. Vote someone. Vote someone. Vote someone. Agree. Agree. I'm voting Tan. Agree. Ha 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 ha. Boy, boy, Tan. You're dead meat. Oh, you're dead meat. You got free votes, Dan. You're so dead meat. You're dead meat. So dead meat. Ha 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 ha. Now, where was I? Oh, fuck. Mm, the reactor mod that has returned. This is devastating trouble. Not. <laughs> Vote someone. Someone. I'm fighting lime. I'm fighting lime.
Ah, lime, take that. Oop, the results are in. Ah, you're done, me, lime. You got the most sweet and free. Bye bye. Oh, no, I realized. Mmm, I was an imposter. So, yeah. Mm. Report on security updates. Okay, done. Someone was. Yeah. This is the storage. Now I better head off to the navigation. Bye bye. No. Back to the security guard's thing. Okay. Oh my god. Press me to lay the emergency meeting of them all. Someone killed Rose. Vote someone. Voting yellow. Hello, baby. Yellow. <laughs> ha, two vote. Oh. Well, we all got one vote each, that means no one gets ejected. Tie. No. Oop. We're just around here in the cafeteria and we have to finish our tasks. There's only one task left. And this is the task now. Let's get it done. Then we will have our tasks finished by now. Okay. Woohoo! Done all my tasks, baby! Right then. Let's go out of there. See me to celebrate. I know let's have a let's have a, I'm having a special security guard look to so <gasps> Oh my god you'll just kill me and boo 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 Oh lost <sighs> That's all Well that was a fun that was and I I took now it's 9 for 7 p.m. so this means I guess I'm busy now I think I'll be there this. Yes.